Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Five Things Friday. I'm not really sure why I said that so ditzy-like. Anyway, um, today's topic is five lies that they tell you when you are applying to college um, or like when you're checking out of college or when you first get to college. So five lies that colleges tell you before you actually spend any amount of time there as a student. Now I'm doing this topic today because as the summer is moving on, we're getting closer and closer to the beginning of school. As much as we don't want to admit it, it's going to happen sometime. And I was thinking back to last year when I started college and how, you know, I had these kind of like preconceived notions and they ended up being wrong. So I'm going to share with you guys um, some of the things that I found to be lies once I actually got to school. And um, hopefully this can help some of you out, especially if you are going to be going to college um, in the fall. Or even if you are going to be a junior or a senior in high school in the fall and you're starting to look at colleges, you might want to keep some of this stuff in mind so that when they lie to you at the open houses, you can be like, okay, well I know that's a lie and you can get the real story from me. So, here we go. Five lies they tell you about college. Food in the dining hall is actually good. Every single college will tell you that the food in their dining hall is actually good. And 95% of them are lying. They want you to go there. So when they have college tours, or when they have open houses, or when they have parents weekends, they bring out the good stuff. They put out the good food. So everyone go, who doesn't go there goes, oh, the food's there really food here is really, really good. But then, once all the special guests are gone, it's back to Mystery Meat Mondays. We're not a big party school. You're not a party school? Really? I mean, it's college. Seriously, every school is a party school. Now, I'll admit, some schools are definitely bigger party schools than others, but every school has parties, every school will have Thirsty Thursdays and people getting drunk all the time. That's not going to change no matter where you go. The dorm rooms are really big, even the freshman dorms. Every school says that they have the biggest dorm rooms around. But you know what? They mean for seniors. When you're a freshman and a sophomore and a junior, you're screwed. You're living in a cardboard box. Or sometimes you get to schools, like my school, that give these huge rooms to freshmen and you're like, oh my god, these rooms are so nice. But what they don't tell you is that those are the biggest rooms on campus. And once you're a sophomore, you get nine. And the rooms maybe get a little better as you're a junior or a senior, but for the most part, the, so or the freshman ones are the nicest because those are, the, those are the ones that people ask to see. So people just assume if the freshman ones are nice, the rest of them must be nice. Well, you know what? If the freshman ones are nice, the rest of them probably aren't. There is an RA on duty 24-7. Okay, so this one's a half lie. It's true that at most schools, there is an RA on duty almost all of the time. Now, there might not be someone specifically on duty during normal class hours, but there's someone around in the office or someone, something to help you if you need help. The problem is that just because an RA is on duty doesn't mean they're going to help you. If it's 4 o'clock in the morning, Yes, there's someone on duty, but they're not awake. They're sleeping sound in their room. So if the guys next door to you are blasting their obnoxious rap music and you're annoyed because you have a test in four hours, if you go to that RA's room, I mean, it's going to take like a half hour just to wake them up. And then do you think they're going to be happy that they were woken up at 4 o'clock in the morning just because some guys were blasting music? The music wasn't bothering them. And no matter what anyone tells you, RAs do drink. Most of them aren't supposed to, but again, it's college. They drink. We have health and safety inspections regularly, and if we catch you with anything illegal, you will be written up and we will take it away from you. Okay, this is technically not a lie, but it's very misleading. They do have health and most colleges do have health and safety inspections regularly, but most of them have to tell you ahead of time. They're not just going to pop in on you. You might not know the exact time, but they have to inform you this is the week we're going to be doing health and, health and safety inspections. Therefore, if you know you have something illegal, you can hide it until they're gone. Now, I'm not condoning doing this, um, but seriously, if you have something illegal, you can just put it away until health, health and safety inspections are over. And if they do find a violation in your room, 
they're not, they can't just confiscate. They have to tell you this is a violation and give you a chance to correct it. Because if you have a violation that you're not aware of, you didn't know it was a violation, you shouldn't be punished for it. So really, if, even if they do find something, you can just take it away and then they'll check to see if you took it away and then you can put it right back. Again, I'm not encouraging anybody to do this, especially with things that are really dangerous, like, you know, if you're not supposed to have, like, candles or halogen lamps or, like, hot plates or something. Um, but if it's something, like, little, like, oh, you're not supposed to have... Well, I can't think of anything really little that you're not supposed to have. Um, so, I guess that means just follow the safety rules. I mean, I'm not telling you not to follow them. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't have stuff you're not supposed to have. But just know that you're not going to get in all this trouble if you have one little tiny thing. Because they have to tell you ahead of time. And they have to give you a chance to correct it if they find something wrong.